Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Wednesday and you know what that means? We are revealing a brand new vehicle. So get excited because this is going to be one epic video. Alrighty, my dudes, so we have something special in store today because, you know, last week we added in a jet ski and I thought I would continue that hype of adding in brand new sea vehicles. And today we are going to be revealing the next sea vehicle. Now, you guys actually voted for this, which is amazing. So if you guys don't know, I actually post a poll before Wednesday so you guys can vote what the vehicle is going to be. And uh, I'm not going to say what the actual answer is uh, <laughs> until we actually go reveal the vehicle here. But uh, you guys really wanted this vehicle in, I must say. I think it was like 50%. But I don't want to talk too much. Let's head over to the garage right now and uh, let's reveal this brand new vehicle. Alrighty, so let's head over to the garage right now and uh, whose mini bike is this? Whose mini bike? Is that a customer? Is that a customer at Cray Fine Foods? I might just take it anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head over here. It looks like young Greg is already ready for the for the vehicle reveal. Now, if this is your first Vehicle Wednesday, I just want to quickly explain what it is to the new people. So basically, every single Wednesday, I add a new vehicle into my vehicle mod. And on the same day, I also release it um, to the public as well. So today we're going to be revealing the brand new vehicle and then you can actually go ahead and download the mod in the description below. But before we actually do go ahead and reveal it, I just want to quickly show you guys what has been added into the mod so far. And this car park is slowly, slowly but surely um, getting full here. Um, we've got an ATV, we've got a rave couch, uh, we have a shopping cart, we have a kids June buggy, we have a go-kart, a mini bike, one of my favorites. I love these two vehicles here. Uh, we have a bumper car, which actually works. You can bump into it. We have a jet ski. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, I just decided to uh, <laughs> um, put it up on the uh, in the car park here, even though it's uh, not supposed to be on land. But here over at the garage is where we reveal the vehicles. And the normal people know what's going on here, but I just want to explain it for new people. Now, before I go ahead and reveal this, if you guys enjoy a Vehicle Wednesday, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button right in half. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload. And especially so you don't miss out on Vehicle Wednesday. But let's go ahead, let's reveal this right now in 3, 2, 1. Da -da 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 -da. Here it is my dudes. This is the speedboat and it is the second C vehicle added to the vehicle mod. And this one takes it to the next level because this one is now the fastest sea vehicle in the game. It is obvious by its name. It is the speed boat and you're going to be speeding in this boat for sure. But let's go ahead. Let's actually take a more detailed look at this. I'm going to head over to my lake here and uh, let's take a look at the actual speed boat here now. Pretty obvious straight off the bat. You'll be able to color this in any color that you like. So later in this video, I will actually uh, summon all the vehicles with all the different colors and you can tell me in the comment section below which one is your favorite. But let's have a look at this thing right now and this thing is an absolute beast. Let's go ahead, let's take off the GUI here. So uh, one thing to note is it actually says Create Industries on the side there. Um, now I am, I am actually going to be doing some improvements to this model in the future so there will most likely be some changes but we've got like a windshield here to stop the wind when, it, when, you're, <laughs> when you're going super duper fast. Uh, look at the interior here. Look at this interior. Got a nice steering wheel, a steering wheel here. Nice little comfy seat to sit on. Uh, at the back here, we've got the kind of exhaust pipes, or I don't know. It's kind of the, the pipes that propel the actual um, the speed boat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's hop inside this thing and give this thing a quick test run. Now, this one actually has a wooden engine in it, but pretty much this wooden engine in the speedboat is pretty much as fast as the jet ski if it had a diamond engine in it. So um, do note that. So when we actually do put the diamond engine in this speedboat, it's going to go a whole lot faster. So let's go ahead. Let's take this thing for a little quick spin around my lake here. And how cool does this sound? So there's actually brand new sounds on sea vehicles as well. So this includes the jet ski too, because I don't want to keep using the same engine sound. It kind of gets a little bit repetitive. 
and it gets annoying over time. So we've so I've introduced a new sound into the mod and uh, definitely sounds really nice in these C vehicles. But this thing is so fun to drive around. Uh, and you can see in the top left corner that we are currently going 18 blocks per second. I think the jet ski will do 22 blocks per second if it has the diamond engine in it. So definitely very, very close in terms of speed. So here we are at my brand new river. If you guys didn't join me on Saturday, basically we improved the river in my town and I've got a boat here with a diamond engine in it. Let's go ahead, let's take this thing down the brand new river and let's see how quick this thing actually goes. Let's start going down here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god, we're going super fast. We're going 26 blocks per second. This is definitely the fastest vehicle in the game so far. Oh my god, <laughs> there's no water here. Uh oh. We're going a little bit stuck. Can someone help me here? Someone help me. The crayfish is a little bit stuck. All right, there we go. So there are brand there are brand new physics. You'll notice when I'm actually driving along here and uh, through the water here, you'll see that I actually rise to the top very smoothly. Like it was it, before, it was kind of a little bit glitchy. If we actually go through here, we we'll actually get shut up in the air a little bit. So the rule of thumb is: the deeper you are in the water, the faster you're going to travel to the top. So by the time you actually get to the, the surface of the water you're actually going to be flung into the air, which is a really cool uh, mechanic. So you guys can have a bunch of fun with that um, if you set up some sort of like water towers in um, an ocean. So the speedboat is officially cool, but this video doesn't end yet. I'm going to show you guys another feature right now, which is super duper awesome about this next update. So this is a problem I was thinking about for quite a while now, and that was actually, you know, how do you actually transport vehicles? Because let's say um, in the future when you're actually able to craft vehicles, how you can actually, you know, transfer a jet ski from this kind of crafting table to the actual water. And the solution is picking up vehicles. And basically, I've added in support to be able to actually pick up vehicles. So if we actually go over here, and we can actually pick up this, um, this jet ski, maybe we'll stand over here and do it. Uh, but if we actually shift, and or, or crouch I should say and then we right click the jet ski here we can actually pick up the vehicle and move it around so we're actually holding it up above my head obviously a little unrealistic but this is Minecraft and um, whoever your character is is super duper strong so we're carrying this jet ski above our head and then if you simply want to place it down we can just go down here we want to place this jet ski back in the water we can simply just crouch right click and then it will go back into the water. Now, that is not the coolest thing about this. What you can actually do is, if you actually pick up the vehicle, I've uh, added in uh, support for, um... Oh, this is... <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Prepare yourselves right now, guys, because, um, you know, that was cool just placing the vehicle in the water, but if you want to be even more cool, you can actually yeet the vehicle into the water. So if we actually look towards the water here and we crouch and we just simply right click, we can yeet this vehicle into the water. <laughs> and uh, there we go. So you can actually do that with every single vehicle as well. So if we actually go back over, let's just go over here and let's steal one of these bumper cars. We can pick this up and then we can, uh, you know, yeet it like that. <laughs> I just thought this was a really cool thing to do. Instead of just making it so you could actually place it, I thought it would be pretty cool to actually be able to pick these vehicles up and uh, yeet them across the map. Let's go ahead, let's chuck this into the into the lava there. Uh-oh, it missed it. Come on, get in there. Yeet! There we go. Bye-bye, vehicle. Now, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this in because I kind of wanted to, to disable... Um, interaction with anything unless you um, get rid of the vehicle that you're holding but you can currently right now actually hold vehicles and uh, drive at the same time so you look at this so th this is my bumper car guys this is my bumper car I ride with it in my uh, my, I br my brand new speedboat here this is my car now okay this is my bumper car now and then as well you can't unfortunately yeet it while you're driving but you can hop out and uh, you know you could yeet it into the actual lake here yeet <laughs> <laughs> Sorry squids. Now another very subtle change that has happened is I've actually improved um, the jet ski model. So if we actually have a look on the side here, you actually now see Cray Industries on the side there, which is what I wanted. And then you also see the kind of um, 
the engine kind of rocket thing at the back here that uh, propels the jet ski forward and as well this is the new sound so as I mentioned the sounds for the sea vehicles have changed so again new sound on the jet ski too which is awesome but this one is definitely a lot slower in comparison um, to the speedboat so definitely choose which one of these you want to use. So I've summoned all the colors of the speedboat. So let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite color um, because I think all of them look super dope with every single color. Let's take a look at all of them here. So first of all, we have the black one here. Nice contrast with this one. I like that. Um, surprisingly with the uh, the jet with the uh, speedboat here the red one of course is a personal favorite we have the green one here looking good the brown one uh, we have the blue one here the default one we have purple we have the cyan one the grays always looking good as normal very nice neutral colors with these ones and now we're coming up to the more vivid colors here we have pink we have the lime one oh yes the yellow looking good um, light blue here this one's the magenta one we have the orange and then finally we have the white one at the end here matching the bottom of it very well there um, but yeah that's all the vehicles so let me know down in the comment section which one of these colors is your favorite so that pretty much covers everything for vehicle Wednesday you can go ahead and download this update right now link in the description below now if you do download this mod, send me some pictures over on Facebook or Twitter and I'll most likely feature you on my feed. Link in the description below for my social accounts. But that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video today and you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later for some more epic videos. Peace out, my dudes.